Hello everyone. Let's look at numericals. Example one says the equation of a progressive wave in a wire is given by y is equal to 0.15 sine of 2 pi into 15 t minus x pi 10, where the distance are in meters and time in second. Question says determine amplitude, frequency, wavelength and velocity of the wave. So, let us first write down the equation what is given to us. It is given that y is equal to 0.15. This point 0.15 into sine of 2 pi into 15 t minus x by 10 where y is in meter and x also is in meter. The question says find the amplitude, frequency, wavelength and velocity. Let us compare this with the standard form which is the standard form of the wave equation is given by the form y is equal to a into sine of 2 pi into ft minus x by lambda. So if you compare this, it becomes very simple from here. Now, if you compare this, the amplitude is equal to 0.15 meter and then frequency is 15t and ft where f stands for frequency. Comparing this term here with this term, you can say that the frequency is equal to 10 hertz and wavelength. Again, compare the last term here with this term here, it would give us wavelength as 10. And the question told that distances are in meter, becomes in meter and velocity. Recall that the wave velocity is given as f into lambda f here is 15 hertz lambda is 10 that is equal to 150 per so these are the required answers here example 2 says a source of sound of frequency 50 hertz is producing longitudinal waves in air. The amplitude of vibrations of air particles is by millimeter and the speed of wave is 330 meter per second. Write the equation of the wave. So we need to write the wave equation. Let us first write down the parameters given. Frequency is 50 hertz, means given the data is f is equal to a hertz producing longitudinal waves. So, we saw that in case of longitudinal waves, if the energy moves in one direction, the particles also will oscillate in the same direction. That would mean that the amplitude here is given as 5 millimeter, which we called as a. So, a is given as 5 millimeter is 5 into n power minus 3 meter and then the wave velocity which is v is given as 330 meter per again. So, we need to write the wave equation. There are many forms of wave equation but the most standard form is y is equal to a into sine of omega t minus k into x where omega is equal to 2 into pi into f which is called as angle of frequency and k minus 2 pi by number lambda is called as angular wave number. So, let us first find what is omega. Omega from here is 2 into pi into f is 50. It becomes 100 pi radian per second 
and to find k we should know what is lambda to find lambda we can use the form p is equal to f into lambda this would imply that lambda is equal to p by f and v is equal to p 30 by p that is equal to 33 by 5 meter a is 2 pi by lambda it will be 2 pi by 5 into 33 it will be 66 pi by 5 it's wrong here this is 2 pi by lambda 2 pi lambda was 33 into 5 becomes 10 pi by 33 so putting it back here we get y as a which is pi into 10 power minus 3 into sine of omega t here is 100 pi into t minus kx would be 10 pi by 33 into x in meter so this is the required example 3 says the equation of a simple harmonic progressive wave is given by the form y is equal to 8 into sine of 0.628x minus 12.56t where x and y are in centimeter and t is in second. Calculate the amplitude, frequency and speed of the wave. Also find the phase difference between two particles at a distance of 2 cm apart at any instant. So let's write the equation first. What is given here is, it says y is equal to 8 sin 0.628 x minus 12.56 into but here x and y are in centimeter so this would be in centimeter question says find amplitude so comparing this with the standard form this y is equal to a into sine of kx minus omega t even this also is acceptable for some we wrote the equations as y is equal to a into sine of omega t minus kx when this also is acceptable even this is the other form of this equation comparing it here you can say that a is equal to 8 centimeter because the question says that x and y are centimeter so this is what is a the next frequency so from here omega is given as 12.56 but omega itself was equal to 2 into pi into f is equal to 12.56 f is equal to 12.56 by 2 into 3.14 it will be 12.56 by 2 into 3.14 b 6.28 is equal to 2 hertz this is a frequency and to find b we should know what is lambda but here we know what is k so k is 2 pi by lambda is given as 0 0.6 into 2 into 8 from here lambda is equal to 2 pi by 0 0.28 this 2 into 3.14 by 0 0.628 lambda is equal to 0.28 by 0.628 that is 10 
but then keep in mind that x and y are in centimeter so this also would be in centimeter only because it comes from here it comes from this form from here you can see it should be in centimeter only so lambda is equal to 10 centimeter now let's find what is velocity v is equal to f into lambda f is 2 hertz lambda is given as 10 centimeter it is 20 centimeter per second because lambda is in centimeter and then hertz is nothing but 1 by second so 1 by second is called as hertz this is what is v last thing is to find the phase difference when the distance between the two particles is 2 centimeter apart we know that the phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into path difference that is 2 into pi lambda here is given as 10 centimeter so 10 in 10 power minus 2 and the question says we need to find the phase difference for two particles which are 2 centimeter apart that would mean that it is 2 into 10 power minus 2 because it is in centimeters so this gets cancelled 2 ones are 5 are and what we get from here is it will be 2 pi by pi radians if the answer is asked in terms of angle then we know that pi radian is equal to 180 degrees which means 2 pi by 2 pi by 5 radian is equal to 2 by 5 into 180 degrees is equal to it will be 360 or it will be 360 by 5 that is equal to 2 degrees so it's it is 2 pi by 5 radians or it is 2 degrees Example 4 says the equation of motion of a particle is given by y is equal to 1.2 sine of 3.5 t plus 1 pi x where the distance and time are respectively in meter and second. Determine the amplitude, frequency and maximum velocity of the particle. Here question doesn't tell to find the velocity of the wave rather it says find for the particle so comparing this with the standard form y is equal to a into sin omega t minus kx this is the equation of a wave when the wave energy moves along the positive x axis suppose the wave moves along the negative x axis then the form of y becomes y is equal to a into i know omega t plus kx this implies the wave or the energy moves along the negative x axis comparing that with what is given to us y is equal to 1.2 into i know 3.5 into t plus x comparing this we can find out parameters being asked question the question says determine the amplitude now it is also given that distance and time is in meter and second so this would be in meter comparing this we can say the amplitude the amplitude is equal to 1.2 meter and the frequency Find frequency we should know what is omega omega here is given as 3.5 the same as 2 pi f if from this we can say f is equal to 3.5 by 2 into pi this 3.5 by 2 into pi is 3.14 this 3.5 by 6.28 that is equal to point 557 hertz this is what is the frequency 
and to find the velocity we should know what is lambda we can find lambda by knowing what is k so k is given as 0 0.5 that is same as 2 pi by lambda therefore lambda from here is 2 pi by 0 0.5 2 into pi would be 3.14 by 0.5 this would give us lambda is equal to 12.56 meter so we found out what is lambda we found out what is f but here question says find the maximum velocity of the particle now recall that in case of wave motion the energy moves but the particles will only oscillate about their mean position so here the question says find the velocity of the particle we learnt that the particle velocity called as vp that is given as omega into under root of a square minus y square where omega is the angle of frequency of the particle a is amplitude and y is maximum or y is at any point its displacement now this v becomes maximum when y is equal to zero so the particle velocity will have maximum value when y is equal to zero and that value would be equal to omega into a omega is already known to us which is 3.5 and a is 1.2 omega is 3.5 radian per second a is 1.2 meter putting it back here you would get 3.5 to 1.2 which would give us 4.2 meter per second. this is a required answer